In the last lecture, we obtained one sufficient and compulsory condition for an LTI system to be static and now in this presentation, we are going to solve the problems based on the same discussion. I will first write down the condition. According to the condition, the transfer function of the given LTI system should be equal to some constant k and when this condition is satisfied, we can say that the given LTI system is static in nature and if the transfer function is not equal to some constant, then we can say that it is a dynamic LTI system. And as we have the transfer function, we can also obtain the impulse response. For this, I will take the inverse Laplace transform. It will give us HT, which is the impulse response, and it is equal to K times delta T. So you can check either the transfer function or the impulse response. If the impulse response is equal to the impulse present at the origin, then we can say that the LTI system is a static LTI system. Delta T is the impulse present at the origin, impulse present at the origin. So whenever you have the impulse response and it is not equal to the impulse present at the origin, the LTI system is a dynamic LTI system. Now we are not worried about checking if the system is LTI system or not because the transfer function or impulse response will be given to you and they are only defined for the LTI systems. So basically here we are talking about a system having the properties of three types of systems, static system, linear system and time invariant system. As the impulse response or transfer function is given in the problem, we already know it is linear time invariant system. The only thing we are required to check is whether it is static or dynamic and we can check it following this condition here. The transfer function should be constant or the impulse response should be equal to impulse present at the origin. Now we will move to the problems. The first problem is having the impulse response HT given as 5 times delta T minus 2. Now compare this with this one and you will find K is equal to 5. K is equal to 5 but delta T is not equal to delta T minus 2. This means we don't have the impulse present at the origin. This is definitely an impulse but it is present when t is equal to 2. So the condition is not satisfied and we can say that the LTI system having this impulse response is a dynamic LTI system. We can further find out the transfer function from the impulse response and for this we are required to take the Laplace transform. It will give us HS equal to 5 times e raised to power minus 2s. So this is the transfer function of the given LTI system and we already know the transfer function should be constant for the static LTI system. But here it is not constant, it is dependent on the frequency. Therefore this condition is not satisfied. Now we will move to find out the relationship, the relationship between output and input and I am doing this just to explain you the complete process however in examinations whenever you have either this one or this one not satisfied you can directly mark your answer but here we are discussing it for the first time so I will explain you everything all the different possibilities HS is equal to YS over XS and it is equal to 5 e raised to power minus 2S I will multiply XS on both the sides and it will give me ys equal to 5 e raised to power minus 2s xs. We are in frequency domain and I want to go to time domain so I will take the inverse Laplace transform. It will give me yt equal to 5 times xt minus 2. So this is the system relationship and from here also you can find out the system is dynamic in nature. For this I will assume t is equal to 0. We are finding out the relationship between output and input when t is equal to 0. The output will be y0 
and this is the present output because t is equal to 0 and here also the time instant is equal to 0 and it will be equal to 5 times x 0 minus 2 this means x minus 2 now with respect to t equal to 0 minus 2 is the past instant of time therefore the output which is the present output is depending on the past value of input and therefore our system is dynamic in nature and as it was already an LTI system the overall system is having the characteristics of dynamic linear time invariant system so this is the complete process but you don't have to follow this process every time just check either the impulse response or the transfer function now we will move to our second problem in the second problem again the impulse response is given and it is equal to minus 2 delta t now this time if you compare it with the condition we have written here you will find k is equal to minus 2 and delta t is same here this means the impulse is present at the origin therefore the system is static LTI system so this was all about the second problem here also if you want to find out the transfer function you can find it out and after having the transfer function you can find the system relationship and from there also you will get the same result but this much is okay for the multiple choice questions let's move to the third problem in the third problem hs is equal to 1 over s plus 1 and this is the homework problem for you here the transfer function is given and it is equal to 1 over s plus 1 just compare it with the condition we have written here h is equal to k and once you have your answer post it in comment section i will move to the fourth problem in the fourth problem h s is given and it is equal to 5 compare it with this condition here you will find h s is equal to some constant and thus our condition is satisfied and the system is a static LTI system let's move to the fifth and the last problem in this problem again the transfer function HS is given and it is equal to S minus 1 over S plus 1 you can see the transfer function is not equal to some constant but it is dependent on the frequency therefore it is a dynamic LTI system dynamic LTI system and uh, when you study the filters you will find it is the transfer function of all pass filter so all pass filter is a dynamic LTI system not only all pass filter but all the filters are dynamic LTI systems their transfer function is dependent on the frequency so this is one important point all the filters are dynamic LTI systems because their transfer function is dependent on the frequency and according to the condition the transfer function should be constant it should not depend on the frequency so this is all for this lecture just solve this homework problem and in the next lecture we will discuss what are causal LTI systems